So if you are just starting Mana Lords and wanted to know the best settings, I'm going to show you what I've been looking at when it comes to Mana Lord settings and the best ones for you. Also, we're going to go through a couple of different ones that you can obviously go through depending on your PC size, the, the kind of memory that you've got and all of that good stuff. So straight off the bat, we go into the gameplay. You've got the auto save feature. That for me, depending on what you want, I will always go like 10, 15 minutes. I think five minutes is just a little bit too soon sometimes i don't want it to auto save and you can actually turn it off which if you are more on the kind of wanting to save it yourself and, and don't forget then you can do that as well we've got allow assigned to multiple control groups i keep that on you've got tutorial pop-ups obviously if you are brand new to the game they're going to be useful for you to start the game and obviously if you're not looking for youtube videos all the time then you can obviously have that to help you progress through the game until you're after the the kind of tutorial side of stuff and then if you find that it's just getting annoying you can obviously turn it off as well we then have the reaction when enemy was spotted this is predominantly going to be more towards when you are managing multiple villages so i personally would normally go with pause for this um obviously you can go slow down you can go do nothing but i would go with pause just so that i've, I've got enough time to cycle through everything and then you've also got the cosmetic day and night cycle we're just going to keep that on obviously that's just a part of the thing anyway so that's all the gameplay stuff there's nothing really too crazy in there that i'm like it matters massively if you turn it off or on to be honest and then we have the graphics now this is where it's going to get interesting depending on your setup depending on your level of computer and what you're kind of going with then so i've put everything back to default for this so personally for me because i like the the window having the borderless windows but also being in full screen and i can tab across to another computer so if you've got multiple monitors i just much prefer that the dlss is going to be my personal choice there and i would go more based on performance now i would say if you are experiencing lag delay it's not running as smoothly then obviously change the settings basic and i'll show you kind of what to do after these settings with that we have then the dynamic dlss uh, dlss again depending on what you want you can obviously turn these on or off i would personally go with the 175 frame rate it's just my preferred favor i don't want to max out my uh, pc by any shape then we also have the sharpening i would go high for that then also with the quality of everything else here i personally go with ultra just naturally to get the best experience then when it comes to the vol volumetric clouds you can obviously turn on or off and then you've got the terrain texture res uh, resolution with the view distance the grass density and also distance and also then the quality now you can go with ultra with these if you are struggling for performance, so I personally then would be looking to, to go more balance, you'd then go with the everything off here. You'd kind of whack down your frame rate a little bit. Then also you'd turn like the sharpening down to medium maybe off. You could turn everything else to low. What I would do with this then is if you find that it is a delay, I would see where your levels are at. Can you go to medium on everything? Can you go a couple on high, a couple on low, maybe medium and find what works better for you? Because if you turn everything to absolute low, you might find potentially the game experience isn't necessarily the greatest and if most definitely the computer isn't as a top spec as you'd kind of like then obviously that is going to be an issue later on down the line anyway but i would mix between them it's not necessarily going to affect the actual in-game experience it is just how the game looks as, as simple as that is and that's the whole point it's the graphics then we also have the audio so personally for me i turn off the music on everything a for copyright reasons just in case but then also because after the time it's cycled between so many tracks, I just don't want to hear it. I don't mind all of the sound effects and the command voices and all of that. But when it comes to the music, it's just not my cup of tea. We also then have la uh, language and accessibility. Obviously, you can t change it to the language that's already yours. And then you've got the interface scale as well. I don't personally mess around with too much of that. Control side of stuff. Personally, I will keep the lock cursor inside the game window off just so I can cycle between games. If you are a one screen setup, it really doesn't matter. You will just be locked into the game anyway. Edge in panning, I keep on. And then when it comes to the, pa uh, the panning zoom and rotation, I would normally go absolutely max on pretty much everything bar from the smoothing i found that one doesn't really uh, kind of work for me but everything was a little bit slow when it came to the rotation so again you can kind of go with what speed you like but personally the max was kind of the best one in my opinion and then obviously you've got the camera shake as well now with the key bindings now this is an interesting one because i think this is the kind of 
totally based on you. If you have a certain setup, if there's a game that doesn't follow the, the, the normal speed of these, so like, for instance, say if H is normally something else and you kind of don't want it to be that, then you can obviously change it. You just click it and then you press the key bind to obviously change it. But I would recommend going into it first and just seeing how it feels. And then you can kind of make the decision, like say if your forward, left, backwards and right is not normally the keys that it is, which... To, to be honest, it normally is them anyway, but you know what I mean. In case you wanted there to be something different, maybe you're looking at potentially S, X, C, and Z instead. That would kind of just be a little bit further down on the keyboard rather than what normally would be the walking forward, backwards, left, and right. So that one would literally base dependent on yourself. Once you've done all that, like I said, play around with the graphics, have a look what's going on, and just see what you can do in the game. And that's going to be my best settings for you. Let me know if there's any you would change.